What brings me to Everblue is that I want to be part of revolution. And I think that green building is a revolution that's happening across the world. My path to green building started in graduate school. I went to architecture school at Harvard and I had some terrific mentors that encouraged me to pursue my interest in sustainability at a time when it was not necessarily embraced. Uh, in fact, when I was uh, in graduate school, they referred to the students as agitators who wanted to promote sustainability. It's unbelievable to think about this. It's only about eight years ago. But at that point in time, we hadn't reached the place that we are today. So people were suspicious of green building. Literally, they tried to kind of hide the students' interests at the school at the time. But now, at Harvard University, they have over 100 LEED certified buildings. They have a staff of 50 people that work on sustainability. So it's come quite far, and I think that part of that has to do with LEED's adoption throughout the world, and part of it just has to do with the natural evolution. You know, people are starting to realize that our resources are dwindling, and that we probably should be at least thinking about it, hopefully doing more than just thinking about it. So about five years ago or so, I started to see a market change. Uh, I was working at an architecture firm at the time and we just started to see a lot more clients asking for LEED in particular. Uh, the firm that I was working at actually had an entire position that was created to manage the LEED projects and that's what I did uh, while I was working there. So um, since then I think you know it's gotten some serious traction. It's obviously um, has a ways to go but we're on the way. I think that um, Everblue has a reputation at this point. You know, they're obviously the largest provider for LEED trainings, as far as I know, uh, throughout the world. And along with that experience, I think, comes the potential to reach even more people. So I think that I was drawn to the fact that you all had your act together, so to speak, and a network established a way of distributing the trainings so that folks could sign up very quickly and easily and there was a sense of quality about the product that was being delivered. And uh, since I was around when things started, um, that was, I can say that that was not necessarily always the case in the earlier days of LEED trainings. So those are some of the reasons that, that drew me to work for Everblue and um, teaching in general. I just really enjoy uh, sharing the knowledge that, I, that I've acquired with the next generation of students. We need you. You know, we need as many people as possible if this is going to be successful. Um, we've gotten a lot of traction, but to continue that momentum, we need more folks to be involved. And we need young, young people to be involved. And so any way that, that I can mentor a young person that's interested in pursuing this, um, I'm certain that the world will be a better place as a result.